Hey y'all, what's up? It is your girl, Talisa Ray, and I am coming to you with a confessions tag. Yes, I am. My girl, Liberated One, and E. Michelle Beauty both tagged me in this video. I guess they wanted to know what I had to say, because baby, theirs was cute. I'm going to put theirs in the description box below. Go ahead, check out their confessions video. Now, I'm going to just tell you the truth. If you're a little judgmental and you're a little uber righteous, not a little, but you are uber righteous. This video may or may not be for you because it is a confessions tag and I do tell the truth. So you're going to get nothing but the truth from me. You understand? Yes, you are. So these are my confessions. Confess something you did a long time of that you're ashamed of. Now, I'm a precursor this with, I'm not ashamed of anything that I've done necessarily because who you see today is from a culmination of all my past experiences good bad ugly indifferent all of them uh, have made who i am today this fabulous phenomenal woman that you see today with all this good goodness that she'd be given <laughs> so she think <laughs> so but uh, I, I, I do feel some kind of way about a few things that i've done in my past so um i'm gonna I'm give you more than one uh, for one, sleeping with someone else's man, someone else's husband in particular. I don't necessarily feel bad if, you know, they were just dating, but I feel bad if it's someone else's man. You know what I'm saying? Your husband. I, I, that's, that's, that's foul. You know, being married, that's, that's foul. You know, you, you just don't do that. I also feel bad about sleeping with a homegirl's ex. Like that was foul too. I mean, wasn't necessarily foul because I didn't know at the time, but I feel some kind of way about it. I feel some kind of way about it, but I enjoyed every moment of it. I'm going to be honest. And then, you know, being youthful, I was a little promiscuous. <laughs> so there's some things that I would change like in my life. There's some things that I would do different, but am I ashamed? Nah. Um, confess at least one bad habit you have. Now, some people wouldn't say it's a bad habit. They would say that I was observant, but I'm nosy. I'm nosy as fuck. Like, I've always been nosy. I always want to know what's going on. You can't have me in a situation and not expect me to ask questions like, okay, now why? And who is this? And what? Because I want to know. I need to be abreast, especially if shit is shady or I'm in a, you know, a certain environment. I want to know what's going on. I don't want to be caught off guard and then you running and I'm running and I don't know what I'm running for. You jump into a fight and I don't know what's going on. I need to know what's happening. Okay? <laughs> I do. So I'm, I'm nosy. That's the bad habit I have. I'm nosy. All in social media. But then that's where I get a lot of my good topics from, from being nosy. So it's a catch-22 there. Confess your guilty pleasure. So if you have children with you and, are, and around, do me a favor and just push them to the side. Push them to the side. Because my guilty pleasure comes from being a woman that does not... Um, a single woman. A woman on her own. A woman that has needs and and and... <sighs> doesn't want to be promiscuous or add shit on her notches on her belt yes i masturbate and it's a pleasure that i enjoy it's i can't i know some women be like uh, i don't do it oh that's nasty well baby you probably ain't never had a real good orgasm because you got to know your own body in order to have one of them good earth shadow and make you cry leg shaking can't breathe orgasms Judge me, don't judge me. I don't care. <laughs> uh, if your friend had a hygiene problem, would you tell them? So when I was watching Liberated One, she was saying that, um, you know, she's diplomatic and she understands that some people have health issues and et cetera, et cetera. But baby, let me tell you, I can't stand no smells. Oh, I can't stand no... Thinking about it makes my stomach hurt. A smell makes me want to throw up. I cannot handle it. So the fact of the matter is, if you are my friend, I am going to tell you through loving kindness because I would hope that you would tell me that I smell funny, like my scent is off. Because if we're friends, I already know that you have good hygiene. You know what I'm saying? I already know that you take, you know, you've got, you take baths and you, you know, make sure that you, that everything is in order on a regular basis. Your clothes are washed, you know, you brush your teeth, all of that stuff that you're well kept. Like I know that of my friends. So if they smell funny, I'm going to be like, girl, are you okay? Maybe you should go to the doctor. There's an odor coming from your body. It smells like this. Because sometimes they don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they don't know. 
take a detox bath, but go to the doctor because it might be something internal. She's, I mean, that's true. It might be, but I'm your friend and I'm going to tell you, and I would hope that my friends would do the same. If you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my Kindle because that's where the questions are. Confess something you're really bad at. Me? Bad at something? No, not me. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm bad at. If you rock with me for real, you know that I have been singing on my videos for the last few months and I am so not a singer, cannot carry a note, cannot hold a tune. I am not a singer. However, God's blessed me with such a melodic voice on, day, on a day-to-day -day basis, like every day this voice right here is wonderful, that I'm not mad that I can't sing, but I'm bad at it. I'm bad at it. People tell me I have a melodic voice. People think that I should be able to sing because it's a strong voice. And I used to have a boss, a manager, he used to say, I always know when it, when you're talking because your voice sounds like you're singing. Baby, if that wasn't a compliment, <laughs> I should have did something with my voice. The voiceover did something with my voice is what I should have did. Toot toot. Um, confess something that you always preach about but never do. I'm not going to say that I never do, but <clears throat> I've always, on Thursday, I always got this good advice. You know, I'm really giving it to you. And one of the things is, you know, um, about about relationships. Like, a lot of the stuff I've learned is because of the, the wrong choices that I made. And unfortunately, sometimes I still make wrong choices when it comes to relationships. And I'm not talking just men. I'm talking about friendships and everything. But mainly men. Oh no. And I'd be like, well, you should be more, you know, patient or you should be more um tolerant when I'm talking to my girlfriends about dating. And then I'd be dating somebody and don't have no tolerance, don't give no passes or nothing. <laughs> so yeah, I, I I that that probably more than the first. So yeah. When I'm when I'm dating, I'm good quick to tell my my, my sister by love, well, you need to afford more of this and you need to you need to understand that they don't know you when they meet you and you blah, blah, blah. but then it'll be my turn and honey I'm quick to be like uh oh, he's out I'm done and going off or whatever yeah that that that's it um confess something mischievous you did in your childhood I have a neighbor across the street I went to a private school and I think this is why my mother put me in private school because I probably would have been a hot ass mess, but who knows? I probably would have been involved in so much that I wouldn't have been a hot ass mess because I, I was number five in my class. Have I told y'all that before? That's beside the point. However, um, we stole a car. We actually stole several cars. She had a master, her, her little boyfriend gave her the master key for a Toyota. I'm dating myself because they, I don't know if they even do that anymore. But we stole people's cars and got parked it and stole another one and parked it and stole another one. I feel, I feel really bad about that. Like those were people's cars. We didn't do anything but drive them. Like I didn't even drive them. She was 14 maybe 13 and I was 15. I can't even say that we were, we were old enough. I want to say we weren't even old enough to be driving. Hell. And we, we, yeah, we stole, we stole people's cars. Hmm. I wonder if she watches, she'll see. Um, confess one act you, act of revenge you have done. So I'm not really a vengeful person. I'm really not I'm really forgiving. Why? Because God forgives me on a daily basis. I try to forgive people. And sometimes I'm a bit too forgiving, but I'm not vengeful. Like I be wanting to be vengeful, but I'm not vengeful. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. Um, however, if my girl needs me, I am so ride or die. People know that they can count on me to go with them to go do the shenanigans and the tomfoolery. I don't do that no more, but baby, if push come to shove, I probably would. I can't even tell you, but Cause just a couple years ago, I we was all I was all vengeful with one of my sisters by love. But uh, in particular, my homegirl's man was cheating on her. She found out he was up at the um, hotel, up uh, not the hotel, the motel, honey. The one that you pay hourly. And we went up there to catch him. We saw his car and we flattened all his tires. I think we scratched up his car. I mean, all four. He rolled home on four flat tires. Uh, the motel called the police. So not only were we uh, did we ruin, uh, slash his tires, but we would pull, waited for him to come out on the side one way and was going to fight the girl. And he was like, go home, go home. Like telling his girlfriend, go home, man, you tripping, go home. And then we heard the police. So we sped off in front of him or whatever. And, um, on top of that, 
I was driving my mother's 1994 Red Pro, my mother's car, okay? Like, somebody. I was, I, we were adults. And my son, he had to be about two. I did a lot of jerk with my son in the car. He had to be about two. He was in the back seat. Uh, if you were going out with your friends and one was dressed inappropriate for the occasion, occasion, would you tell them? Okay, inappropriate for the occasion. What do you mean? So when you say for the occasion, I'm thinking like if we're going to some uh, dinner or some job function and they're dressed like a thought, I would tell them, yes, class it up a bit. Yes, please don't wear that. It's inappropriate for where we're going. Girl, save that for later on, change into something later. However, we go into the club, we go into the strip club, we go into the, you know, the, 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 the have a party, have a good time, have drinks or whatever, and she's dressed what some people would consider be would consider inappropriate because her shorts are too short or whatever like that or her dress is too tight. I'm gonna be like, get it, don't stop, get it, get it, do the wrap, cause baby, if I could rock it, I would too. I'm not gonna be mad at you. I'm not gonna be mad at you because you dress like a thought. You can be dressed like a thought because I might be dressed like a thought. We grown ass women. As long as it's not hurting anybody, it's respectful and the, so to say, like you're not wearing like fishnets talking and no draws on and that's it with a little tube top, like we good. Because if you dress like that, I am going to say, bitch, we're not going to, we're not on Hollywood. We're not going to walk on Sunset. But if it, if it's, it, it, you know, if you look good. Then I'm, you know, if you look good, I'm not going to say nothing about it. But if you look a hot ass mess, baby, your girl tells you, you look a hot ass. You look a hot ass mess. Your ass too fat for that. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not talking about your ass. I mean, you too fat. Mm -hmm. That's what I would expect from my friends to tell me. Uh, I know for sure that my friends would be like, that's not right. Don't wear that. That don't look good. <laughs> that don't look good. Let me get something out of my closet. Mm -mm. That's not fitting your body right. <laughs> um, if you had proof that your friend or an associate's partner was cheating on them, would you tell them? An associate? No, I'm on my, my own business. We not cool like that. Mm. And see, here's the thing about it. Women have such great intuition that they know that their man is cheating on them. They don't need you to tell them. You're just really confirming it. And the worst thing about it, though, is... They get mad at you for telling it, telling them to. And you want to be like, bitch, you knew that your nigga was cheating on you, that he was no good. You knew he, we were just talking about it the other day. And I'm just telling you because I saw it with my own eyes. So you, it's really a real sensitive subject that you have to tiptoe around. You got to consider what friend, what type of friend, what your relationship is like. Are they going to handle, are they going to be like, well, Talisa said she saw you. And then he going to be like, that old single miserable bitch. She don't know what she saw. I mean, you got to really consider all of that. So that's a touchy one. But I am the friend that might walk up and be like, hey, Robert, what's up? How you doing? Hey, girl, I'm Talisa. I'm his wife's good friend. Like, that would be me. And I might let him have to say something. But then again, she finds out he saw you and she's going to be like, well, why didn't you tell me you saw Robert and you saw him with so-and-so, so-and-so? He said he was talking to some girl or whatever. Why wouldn't you tell me? So it's all kind of convoluted. It depends on the situation and who it is. So I don't know. How about that? How about that? Um, if you are in a store and you saw someone shoplifting, would you tell? No, I wouldn't. Yeah, shameful. I wouldn't tell them. I wouldn't tell. I wouldn't tell. I might look at them and maybe their conscious would or give them a look like I seen you, or maybe their and their conscious would would get the best of them and they would change their mind, you know. But I wouldn't say anything. I, I you know, I, I'm just being honest. I buy stuff from boosters all the time, like. If a booster be like, girl, I got this da, 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 and I want it, I'm going to buy it. And then on the flip side, if let's say you see somebody, because it's happened, where you see somebody in uh, in the grocery store and they're still in diapers or they're getting ready to walk out. You can see it in their face. They're nervous about it, but you know that it is a need. I stop them and be like, is everything okay? You know, they might get mad. I could buy that for you. Let me buy that for you. Like, I'm that person. Let me buy that for you. And because if it's a need out of a necessity, but if it's just because you own drugs and you stealing stuff, then that, that's different. But if it's a need, diapers, milk, that kind of stuff for your family, and you finna walk right out the store with it because it's easy to do. I'm so for buying it and giving you a few dollars and be like, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. It's not worth you not being able to go home overnight or for the week or whatever because you were caught shoplifting. You feel me? Last question. If your partner's 
friend tried to hit on you, would you tell them or keep it on the hush? Baby, it's happened on several occasions it has happened. It happened uh, with my oldest son's father when he was gone, but he hollered at me and we, we had a little relationship going for a second. But I was done with his dad. I, that, was, that was vengeful. Oh my God, that was vengeful. I slept with my baby daddy's friend, his good friend. <laughs> when he went to prison, I slept with his friend. That was vengeful. Ha! I found something that was vengeful. That was very vengeful. Okay, now... <laughs> And it has happened where uh, I was, in, you know, meeting somebody or in a relationship and their friends tried to talk to me. But I just clown them and be like, for real, that's, that's what you're doing? You know I'm with your boy, that's what you're doing? And then I say to the to my man, my dude, my boo, whomever, whatever I'm calling him, my bae, whatever I call him at that time, i would be like, uh, all right then, so what? You just put your friend up to holler at me? Like, he knew, he know we together, so you, you did that. That was all you, that was a plan, like... What do you think this is? That's how you see me? You just passing me around? Like, that's the shit I say and be having an attitude because you ain't checked him. If you, you better check his ass because that's, you like, this is, the ugh. We ain't, it ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. Like, check your friend quickly. All right. Yeah. So that was the last question and that, con that concludes my confessions tag. And guess what? I'm about to tag some people. I tag you if you decide you want to do it. I've placed the questions down in the description box below. And I am personally tagging um, Jess from Simply Me, Simply Gorgeous, and Cherry on the Two. Mm -hmm. Girl, I can't wait to see what you got to say. So look who's in, Punchinella 47. Look who's in, Punchinella 48. You. <laughs> Hugs and kisses. Oh, if this is your first time visiting my channel, do me a favor and click that young subscribe button so you can rock with me. Yes. If you have been rocking with me for a while, I am so grateful too and for you. Hugs and kisses and lots of love. I will see you on the next video.